This is gonna be you too. This is gonna be a surprise. All right, close your eyes. Can we open our eyes now? No. Where are the doors? Oh. some i am really goddamn tired of this kind of shit i am really goddamn tired of companies releasing games with missing features unfinished day one fucking 40 gig goddamn patches it's much too consistent madden battlefield call of duty all these fucking games star wars whatever fucking genre almost it's always some bullshit yeah i'm not hurt by now Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 released, what, fucking three days ago? October 28th? And of course, as everybody thought, it's no surprise, this thing has made $800 million in three days. $800 million in three days. Despite it missing so many key features, despite the online being fucking mediocre and already problematic in the fucking beta form, despite all the problems being out there from day one, everybody knows this game's shortcomings. It still sold like fucking hotcakes because why? Because it has the name Call of Duty on it. There are some things missing in the Modern Warfare 2 remake that are just fucking unexcusable. Some things that blow my goddamn mind and make me wonder how the fuck this is not there at release in a Call of Duty game. Think I'm tripping? In case you ain't heard, let's go on a list, shall we? One of the things there that's not there day one is fucking stats. STATS! In a Call of Duty game. You know fucking stats. Let me tell you something about Call of Duty players. The people people who play just Call of Duty or people who are really into Call of Duty or shooters in general and any, actually any multiplayer online shooter anyway, right? You cannot check your stats. You cannot check your KD. You cannot check how many kills you have with this weapon. There is no possible way to check that shit. You have no idea what your kill to death ratio is, which is like a Call of Duty player's fucking main priority is to check their KD. Fucking stats are not there. Of all goddamn things. Stats. Yeah, somebody explain that shit to me. Somebody justify fucking stats. Something as simple as stats in 2022 on next gen fucking consoles or in fucking PC. Tell me how the fuck stats is not there on launch day. Is that how fucking low the bar has fa has fallen for Call of Duty? Is that where the fuck we're at now? Is that how fucking dumb they are? Is that how fucking passive they think that their fan base is? Apparently so, because people are buying this fucking game anyway. Stats are not there. Fucking stats! The fucking barracks, gone. Not there day one, don't know when the fuck they're coming. Barracks, not there day one. Who the fuck needs barracks, right? Why we want that? No fucking challenges. Yeah, fuck the challenges. Challenges are gone. Get them the fuck out of here. We got no fucking challenges at launch day. No fucking medals. No ability to inspect weapons in, in the fucking gunsmith. You can't save your fucking custom blueprints. All this day one. No HC mode. Why? Why? There is no fucking reason. This, should, this shit should not be there day one. 
And this shit still was in there after a fucking 40 gig day one patch. I don't even know what the fuck was in it. But it wasn't any of the shit that was missing. I'll tell you that. Fucking embarrassing. Inexcusable. Unfathomable, man. It, 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 it fucking irks the shit out of me. And people still choose to support this. Because they say, this, I guess the single player is good. That's good. But realistically, this game, I'd probably say 90% of players. Or maybe I'll give it 80% of players. Play Call of Duty. For what? The multiplayer. That's the most important part. I'm not saying that single player isn't a big component of it. But I think that this game has taken an online multiplayer uh, identity. And I, I feel pretty confident saying that. I would say that's true. So all this shit with the fucking online multiplayer is fucking bullshit. Garbage. And I didn't even get to the most fucking egregious one yet. The reason why I'm not even buying this piece of shit. Because to be honest with you, I can do it without stats. Fuck it. Well, I mean, I want the stats there, but fuck it, I can do it without it. I can do it without the barracks. I can do it without challenges. I can do it without melts. I can do all their bullshit. But one thing that's unfucking excusable to me is there's no fucking hardcore mode at launch. You fucking lazy motherfucker. No hardcore mode. Now, for the true people who's played Call of Duty back in the day, right? Since day one. Since fucking World at War, even. No fucking hardcore? Are you fucking kidding me? So, if I bought this shit right now, the only thing I can play is goddamn core? Where it takes a whole goddamn clip to kill somebody? And people are constantly on a fucking mini-map? Fucking lazy, man. I came and there's nothing more I can say. It's pure fucking laziness. It's pure arrogance. It's pure. It's them just knowing that whatever bullshit they put out there, no matter how unfinished it is, how mediocre, same shit year after year, they know people will buy this shit up. They'll spend millions, and millions of dollars on the marketing, all these deals on these, you know, on fucking like Taco Bell cups with Mountain Dew and all other shit. And people are going to eat it up because Call of Duty is just a bigger name, just a bigger brand recognition. It doesn't matter what the fuck they do. People are still going to support this game. Not me, man. I can't fucking do it. I can't do it. I refuse to do it. Fuck Call of Duty. I'm done with these kind of games. Same, same with Madden and shit like that. I'm fucking done. These day one fucking 40 gig patches that don't fucking fix nothing. Then you got the naysayers, right? You got the Call of Duty, like, you know, loyalists and shit like that. Or people, like, you know, people who come to the defense of these companies saying, uh, you know, hey, they said it's going to come later. Fuck later. I don't pay you the money later, right? You want the full sum of money up front for your product. You want that 70 goddamn dollars up front? I should get a finished product. But no, it's never fucking like that. And, and, and there's not many other aspects of life that are like that, right? Like, I wouldn't pay somebody this money to build the house, right? To say build me a house I give him the fucking full amount to build the house he builds three quarters of the house and tells me that he's gonna finish the other quarter of the house whenever the fuck he feels like it like ah uh, well I paid you all the money I really like you to fin finish my fucking house he's like, eh, go fuck yourself I'll do it when I feel like it if I ever get to it at all that's how I feel about the situation right this shit should be done from the beginning in 2022, we all the goddamn technology to have, and then not to mention just the general price increase in general to sixty to seventy dollars for all these games. And what do they say? You know, inflation. It's costing more to make games. Could have fucking fooled me. So you tell me now I'm charge you charge me more money, and I'm getting less shit that was in the fucking first Modern Warfare. How many years ago? Make it make sense to me, please, in the comments. Please justify any of this shit to me. Go ahead and defend Activision or fucking whoever the fuck, Treyarch, right? Go ahead and defend them and say, you know, hey, they're working on doing the best they can. Fuck that. This shit is simple. Game modes. Stats of all goddamn things. Barracks. Challenges. This shit they've been doing for fucking years and should be there. Day one. I don't give a fuck if it's a week later, two weeks later, a month later, a year later. No! Day fucking one. No goddamn excuses. This shit's fucking embarrassing and it makes me sick to my fucking stomach anyway that's it for me guys do this video like comment subscribe all that bullshit talk to you guys next time thanks